Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome to another interview um, for this little special extra. Uh, I'm Paul. I'm Tom. And I uh, thought I'd like get into a wee bit more detail about uh, Dad and Cumbernauld and Dad and Cumbernauld to Tom, so from Tom to, to from Dad and Cumbernauld to Tom, and talk about a wee bit more about you know Tom and Dad and Cumbernauld and you know his big part the last that last ten years. Off the show, and now he just announced that this year will be its third season of Tom. So, uh, yeah, what's your general look back of all the things that Dan Cumbernauld that you remember? Just, you know, some of your favourite moments of Dan Cumbernauld. Um, what do you do? You real? What's your general? Just, um, you know, being there, meeting your family for the first time. Your papa, your dad, your auntie, um, obviously Helen, and then meeting kind of Helen's kids and that, and then meeting them, um, meeting like friends uh, theirs and all that, parties that we went to Tracy's party, um, obviously Bogus dad. Um, Do you remember like? Um, just, just so any great great moments that you'll always remember that will always like the party remember you were talking about the party like the party you know that was a great moment that was like really fun you know that was like that was a good party like that doesn't that will not come in much anywhere you know and then obviously meeting that that boy that Tracy knew that passed away obviously he was he was funny. Dean, his name was, I think it was. Dean, I, Dean, I. He was a fun guy, you know, like, he was really a laugh, and then there was, like, obviously we went to the nightclub that used to be up there in Cumbernauld, which was pretty good. I know, I know. It was really, it, well, there were good moments, I mean, now, obviously, I mean, some of it, for me, I remember, like, some of the good episodes people keep talking about. One of, the, one of them's obviously Bogus Dad, as you say, um, Tom the Bee. Um, when the episode you get stung. Uh, remember the Sunday school trip? Sunday school, Sunday school trip, that's right. That was, that was quite an interesting one. That was, um, that came too long ago. That was the one we were on the bus. Yeah. And we were all carrying on. We were all wrestling and all that and stuff. And on the trampolines, remember? Trampolines, yeah. That was like, and then we got lost trying to get back to the bus. And then, but we luckily found the, we found the place to go. Yeah, I remember we got lost, um, when we were in the film and we got lost in the, because uh, we went to the we went into the town. Aye, we went to the town. And we couldn't find our way back. But then we went to where the bus was parked, and the bus wasn't parked there. And then we went, wait a minute, it wasn't parked there, but it was. We we're up in the wee um, hallway, the wee hall that's up there, the wee city kind of hall. And we went our way up, and there was a bus there. And we're like, right, okay, wish we found it. That's good, thank God. I know. Some some of them, some, some really good moments for me personally. I mean. I remember other things. I mean, the time you got stung with the wasp, that was the first time you got stung. Mm-hmm. Mind. Um, and you had to get vinegar and just slot it on. I uh, also remember some other good ones, obviously. Tomalina is another one that everybody loves. Yeah. Lasagna, honestly, hands down, she said it was her favourite episode. Um, still to this day. And I think ever since that episode, it changed. The look of Dad and Kim and all, it changed the way... Uh, it changed the... Perception, eh? Kind of. And, and I mean, that was that's to this year. It's ten years ago now. Since, um, you know, it'll be ten years ago this year. Ten years ago this year, eh? That Tom Molina was shot. What yeah. is that? Does that? So I just look, like looking back at that episode. I mean, that was that was <coughs> a whole weekend. But you got you got to we look, shot that. You got to look back at that and go like you know we're so immature. But back then you got to look, we wouldn't do that now compared to back so then. That's the thing. That's a that's a funny. I mean, the funny. It was. I think the whole whole thing I liked about that that weekend. That weekend was so good. I mean, we went. Uh, I mean, you I mean back then you never had growth. You never had beard and nothing. Your hair was always short. Yeah. You never had a beard. Yeah, did you? I had long hair. Yeah. I had long hair. I never really had growth, but I had long hair. You always had short hair because you always used to let it grow long, but then you'd get tell to get it short, and then you'd get it cut short. Yeah. I'm going to go back in. I mean, now look at you, man. Now you've got growth, and you're like, I'm just letting it grow, just yeah. letting my hair like, thing in. Got to let my, my hair go. And I mean, back then, back then, you, that would that wouldn't happen. Back then, like, back then it'd be like, no. 
Paul's like Paul's like no no for no for long hair no for no for long hair no for growth beard or anything um and me I just didn't have short hair for a long time I always had long and then I got it cut a couple of times and I was like right get it cut I say I look better be my hair short, which okay sometimes I agree, yeah, I do look a bit better with my hair cut short. But at the same time there was some really, really good moments. I mean Tom Alina when we shot that episode <sighs> Tom Alina was just a Tom Alina was just a kinda really a it was a kinda piss take, but you know Tom Alina was fun. No, but you really if you look at it no, it was a piss take because it was me taking a part from Bachelor Party and throwing that in there. You yeah. know, it, it was that. It was. It was, it was that. It was but that. But it was really, really good because it was just you doing that. It's just me doing it. Bye. Because there's that moment in the episode where you watch it and it's just you doing it. By the way, my name is Tim. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, you know, it was, um, it was mad. It was crazy. It was, um, I had to believe 10 years that was. Um, yeah, 10 years. And then, you know, yeah. after that, we went on to do other episodes, the Falkirk Wheel, that's the big wheel that Falk, was... Falkirk Wheel with your papa, man. That was, we that we was shot good, episodes that, up there. That was a great we day. We also shot episodes, um, a couple of last episodes before, um, <clears throat> you, you know, we shot the episode at the museum in Glasgow. We've done the episode at the museum in Glasgow. What about you? We've we done the episode uh, me, you and your dad and your papa and all that, driving in the car, watching planes fly by. I know done that, we did um, us going away up to like Luss and That's right. away up all there, we done shots of all that, we done meeting your papa and whatnot in the town and all that, Me- meeting your papa with his friend for the, for the church and all that, him was a big believer in God and all that stuff, we met him, we were speaking to him and all that about like belief, religious and beliefs and whatnot, we met him, um, Christ there was a few... Mate, oh, we get the episodes as well. We get a way back. I mean, this is going away back. We get the episode where we went into the the, the gorbals. That's right. When we had the, the old DVDs, remember Fraser and Cheers and all that. I know. And you, you also had like we also did you did episodes obviously where like when you lived with Shona. I lived with Shona. I don't know. That'd be like blast of the past. Nah, yeah, it's like I've. Like, but you did you, you you know it got to a point when you know you sort of. Slowed down with Adam coming old, then you moved on to Tom, which now you're in a Tom. You're doing Tom series one. You're but, successful series two. Series but then I always told you, Dad and coming old, I'll know be finished. I'll know be finished with it. I'll come up, you know, because I mean you've probably not heard for her, but she messaged me. Was Anna messaged me, going like she's not really got your number, and she got back in touch with me. She says, Hey, what what you up to? You need to come back up to Livingston sometime. You and Paul, whenever you're up at um, you know, my my. Gran and uh, my nan and papas and all that and stuff, and let us know, you know, um, cause it'd be good to hang out. And I says, oh, definitely, I says, I goes, actor, who who came away through to Stirling to stay with you and hang about with you and, you know, be there as a good friend? She but says, you didn't, yeah. you, you mean you used you? her? You? I said, yeah. You, you used her in the first series of Tom and then you used Ryan in the, st- the second series of Tom. Um, and so, are you going to be bringing, keep get, bringing guest stars every series of Tom? Could try. I mean, it just depends. I mean, obviously, it depends. It, obviously, whenever Ainsley comes back over again, that would be a good guest star. Could always go at here. I'm free. It's a shame because, like, some of the guest stars that you feel that they did leave early on, that you feel that you'd love to get in, like Andrew would be one. You know, but which every which is every time I see him, always the same. Never talks to me in the court. So what did weird. You do? I don't know what I've done, but it's so strange. I walk by him and I see him and he just looks at me and just turns his head the other way and I'm like, is it because I'm still friends with Paul? What What is it? Come talk to me. But no, there's nothing and there. And then you'll see you would have had... Um, Obviously we would have had... Um, Natalie. We'd had Natalie. But... Uh, we'd had Natalie, we'd have had Donald, we saw him a lot. I know. We'd had quite a few people. I know, it's a shame. But like... How do you feel like you've moved? You moved on to Tom now. How do you feel that that shows um, changed your life in a sort of sense? It's good because I try to get 
I mean, a lot of my friends make fun of me for all these things that I do, but I do, I show, I show these films and these episodes in a way to, to let people see, you know, what fun things I can do in my life, that I'm not just stuck in the house all day playing computer games or, you know, going to work every day. I mean, I'm going to be out there and do And then stuff. people can just make you fun of you just for that as well, you know, so it's just kind of like... There's an endless no, circle, you never listen to people make funny. But nobody's going to make funny if you if you go away, like, away up to Luss and you're away up, away up at the kind of beach end. Nobody's going to, because you're enjoying a day out, you're at the beach side, so nobody's going to make funny. They'll make fun of you if you've done an episode of you're going to like a comic con or something, or, or if you're geeky, like you're near toys again or whatever, then you make funny. Or, see, you know, I, I don't like people bother me like that, you know. See, I try and know it, but see, because, like, people that I know, that Lance knows, and then they know me as well, and then I meet them, it's hard because you kind of get out of that. You're kind of, you see them, they're there, so you see them, so you can't really escape it. You get it a lot of the time, you get it day in, day out, so it's kind of like, I don't try to know where to bother me, but when you get it day in, day out, it's kind of like, it's tough, in a way, to get away from it, because they just keep bringing it up, oh, but, when you when you doing your your next video, you know all the toys and whatever, and then you're like, what maybe the they just like to watch it. Maybe they're they're secretly fans and they just. But you're like, what the hell are you talking about? And I'm like, and then they, each day they bring it up, and you're like, right, oh, just well, you let, know, let it die. Just stop talking about it. Let it die. But you 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 know got a you got a fan but great uh, base out there. I've showed you the emails. People have actually generally do like watching your stuff. Dan Cumbernauld, Jeff Wilson videos. Excuse me, I know that. Tom, you know what I mean? Some of the old bogus clips. People actually enjoy watching your stuff. I've showed you emails of people saying, oh, Tom, keep it up, the good work, and all that kind of thing. All the people that you see out there, you know, so called. You know, well, I told you I've got my email address. Give them my email address, then put my email address at the bottom of this video. Send so we bring me in a link. Yeah. I mean, my, my, my um, email address is thomaslaw1987 at live.co.uk. Put that in, send me a message, I'll get back to you. I mean, um, I've got my email on my phone. I can always click into it and see who's emailed me and I can go, oh, I'll get an email for somebody. Boom. And reply back to them and go, hey, how's things and whatnot. So it's always a kind of... It's always good when I speak to fans. It's it was a uh, it was great that your your Tom series have lasted three years now. I mean three years that's quite a lot now. I mean this is its third year. How many years are you going to do it for? You just see how it goes. And see how it goes. You know I I want to kind of you know can expand. We can you know, just can make a day in Edinburgh one day. You know we're up in Edinburgh and doing stuff because I always kind of wanted to do that big. Um, that big swing thing up above the city that swings up above all the buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to go with that and I'd like to maybe get you to kind of go somewhere and film that, you know, and film me a way up high and, and then go, you know, wherever going, adventure out somewhere, you know, wherever going. You know, oh, let's make a wee, wee day with it. Like, look, man, me, you could go out to me, like, um, some of my friends want to go to, like, down England somewhere, Newcastle or a day out or a way down or a comic con or something you know let's go and then take your ring and do that and make that an episode you know but see that's the same thing like comic con and all that's the end thing now so <clears throat> they can make funny all you want they're just missing out they just don't know well see it doesn't bother me I do my videos I do hundreds of unboxing videos don't let people bother me and get to me it's just they just like to try and wheel you in and then you know, so you just go, oh yeah, you know what, I'm not going to do them anymore because you, uh, it's like laughing at me and all that. Nah, nah, nobody will stop me for doing anything that I love. It's like people are saying already, they'll like, really laugh at you for collecting hot toys. I mean, they've been laughing at you for years since you've been collecting hot toys. Like, so what? You enjoy it? You know what I mean? I did well. Like, I had, like, um, I had um, Ga uh, Ga Gra uh, Gary Brownley come in, um, obviously Gary Dickie, but it was called Gary Brownley. I had him come in before home. And he looked and he's like, oh, man, like, and he's like, I'm looking at some of your hot toys. He's like, Darth Vader, man, awesome. Look at that. Oh, look at Harrison Ford. And he's like, oh, look up. And he's like, wow, look at Star Wars. Look at some of them that you've got. And yeah. Well, they're not making fun of you then when they're standing there seeing it. You know what I mean? But it's all right to stand there and go make fun of you. No. 
I don't believe that. I don't believe that people should be making fun of somebody for something but, they but enjoy. You know, but you know what? You know what? We've had the discussion before. Some people are weird. We've had this discussion before. People are weird. People just how people can. But know, people are always going to be weird. No, but how can people do that and no do that in front of your face, but they'll do it behind your but do it behind your back? I don't know why. We had the discussion. Before. So we had the discussion with Andrew. How come? Uh, how like the discussion we had with Andrew, which we brought the subject up. It's discussed about Andrew saying about we're both different people, and you're like, of course we're both different people. If we're the same people, we wouldn't be hanging out with each other. That's why you, that's why you like somebody because they're different for you. Exactly. So like, and then like these people, it's like they look at it as like Lance, Lance has just went out there and fought like a lot of money up in Glasgow and in Brayhead on these big painting things of just weird thing like a big skull, a big skull with like pure. Splatty things come out of it and all that and stuff. I've uh, seen that. And it's like, I'm like, right, so you bought that, you fought a lot of money in that. But then he'll go crazy you for forking out money for a like, what type of But I'm not going like that, that's his money. It's like, that's my money. Like, he's like, when he hanging me about hot toys and I'm like that. Like, cause he messaged you and says, waste of money, and all that means, like, you people put me Yeah, and I, I just went like that. I was ready to come back and be, so it says, no, you're a waste of money. But I didn't, I just left it. But the thing you look at it is, I paid, before I get into it, I paid the bills first. Once the bills are done, or well, whatever I need to pay, once that's done, the rest of the money is mine to buy whatever I wish. What's that mean? That's what you like, what you enjoy. And it's my <coughs> money that I work for. So Whether you buy forums, whether you buy games, whether you buy figures or whatever it is, or comic books or whatever it is you love to I mean, buy. He, I mean, he's, he's not get he's got not get any money to show for. He's got nothing with his money to show for. No. He's got no money to show for. No, no. And he said to me, Tom, I've not got money to show for. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this to save it, but he's not done it. I know, so. because you know what he does? He was away up to Glasgow that night on a taxi all the way up there and then a taxi all the way back and it's just, why waste your money like that? Why, like, piss your money down the side of your wall? See, see, I wouldn't mind doing it a odd time. I mean, he paid the taxi all the way up there and then had to pay taxi all the way back down. That's crazy. So I just left early, got the train up, no having to worry about Yeah, that. well, he's done that many times when I've been there and when I've not been there, but I have, like, I've obviously put, I have obviously put money in. But the taxi, when we came back down for the town, that that Tuesday night we were away up um, with me, him and Callum, I did give him, like, I did give him, like, five quid or a tenner. I just went like, right, look, here's my money for the taxi, so don't get on at me, there's my money, don't get, on, don't get on at me, and he's trying to get calm, calm, give me the money for the taxi, blah, blah, give me the money for the taxi, blah, 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 and I'm like, right, so I've given him the money, he can't get on at me, he tries to get on at me, no, I've given him money for the taxi, so that's it. No. I just, psh, I just... Well, at least you've got something to show for your money, I mean, you, you'll go home tonight, and you'll add your Batman to the collection, and you'll go look at that. Yeah. Like, Money well spent, you know. Yeah, I, I mean it's it's what you like. I mean, if you don't like uh, 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 down the line, uh, down the line, I've got a hot toy that becomes worth quite a lot of money, and I decide, you know, somebody's really looking for that, and they're willing to fork out a bomb for that. You know, I could go. Mm. Every day, and I can get it off of you if you sell it to me. Give no, me a, no, I'm looking at. Give me a. You're you Captain al- America. You're already you're already finding me with what. But you're selling me, you're selling me that big machine up the stair. Yeah. So you're selling me that, that for 600. So you're like, ah, I'll sell you that 600, 200 installment each, whatever you can. And you but can honestly, pay. I wouldn't let anybody get to you because like... I try, I, I, don't, I don't, but it's just... Because they're always, they're just going to laugh anyway. It's, it's even when I play like Rainbow Six and you just hear them, all, what you hear all, like singing and all that and Sam and all that and they're all like, oh, you hot. Toys and all that, they're toys and whatever, and I'm like, no, they're figures, and I try to sway their way for the conversation and they'll get on about it about me, and then you just kind of hear them all laughing and stuff, and you're just like, change the subject, I don't want to talk about this subject, and just, you're like, no, I don't talk about this subject. I don't want to. Well, that's what you're in, you're in you collecting that. <clears throat> it's just like, let people get to you, man. Exactly, I mean, they go, ah, it's toys, but my, ah, it's no toys to me. To me, they're in a glass cabinet and they're no... They're no Collectibles. Um, they're, no, they're no getting played. They're no toys. They're company's hot toys. They're actual, fi- they're actual figures. They're actually they're figures slash statues. You can... D- I would honestly... Pose them up like statues. So I would honestly... 
grow some balls or something man, and man up and just like say listen I like collecting what well, I like collecting you like collecting what you like collecting if you like collecting games or I mean there must be something Funko Pops or whatever they're into collecting no I don't think they're games or whatever it is probably games I but even that how, you, how can you slag somebody for games because most likely how can, you sa- how can you slag somebody for collecting hot toys or collecting blu-rays or anything like that because lots of people do it now Lots of people, hundreds of people like that. But they could be a, they could be a wee, wee bullshit. We just look at something to slag somebody for. It's like Van Hong. Van Hong gets slagged for in his house. He collects so much stuff. Van Hong's got like aftershaves, deodorants. There you go. He likes to collect aftershaves and deodorants. You just say I like You walk, you walk into his toilet, literally just a whole thing, just like that. Fill up aftershaves and deodorants. And watches, and then you go, well, this is my two grand watch, but I don't really like it. And you're like, what? <laughs> what? And you're like, what the hell? <laughs> just like, fan home with the... You just need to man up, mate. Grow a pair of balls. No, I don't, I don't listen to him, but I just hate... I, I don't listen to him at all, but I hate when they constantly go on about it. What else is then? No, just they just generally go on about that, but I hate when they, they constantly go on about it. They just they go on no, about it. No, they just make they, fun of them back. They, they're going. They obviously going about the videos that you that you put up, and I'm like, I'm like, I, I was like, I spoke to you. keep that to just my YouTube channel. Don't post it on Facebook. But they can see it there as well. So like, what does it? But it's on the YouTube channel. So but they can also on. look it up and go. Oh, it is there as well. At least, it's, it at least it's on my YouTube channel. But at least it's not posted on Facebook. Because then people and you get paid as well if they look on on uh, Facebook. So if they were looking, if I posted it on Facebook. And you got a lot of views on Facebook. You get paid for that. Goes into your bank account. Each, right. each view you get, whether it's one view or whatever. But you still get paid. paid. You get paid for YouTube as well. Yeah, but you get more for Facebook because Facebook's because the way it's still playing. See, because it's constantly kind of playing when you go down the the homepage. It's I'd, moving. No, it, it only moves if you go into your settings and make it and you click it as you set it as. Play these videos when they're posted. Alright. Oh, That's only how it gets worked. You gotta actually get into settings and set that setting. You can set that video as you can set that video as play or <coughs> But anyway, we'll wrap this up here. Uh, like like I say, don't let anybody get um, to you man. Just <coughs> I I try I do I don't I just I just ignore them but it's just sometimes it's hard when they're just they're just like as I call them, whiny little bitches, man, when they kind of something to slag somebody about, and I just go, ah, like whatever, I try to change the subject, and I'm like, nah, I'm like, nah, do you know what? Change the subject, man, because it's just getting boring. And sometimes I've even just went off, like, just no played. Sometimes I don't even go on and play with them on the Xbox. Sometimes you can wonder why I'm dinging them, because as soon as I come on, they just start again it's like god here we go again constantly blah 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 oh your toys oh so that video pop it up with the fuck remember like nah do you know what nah ding it I'm not talking to you then it stop talking about me but then you're letting people get to you you know but I don't I'm saying I'm ignoring them I'm going nah so I'm like ignoring them so that's not me getting they're not getting to me if I was letting them get to me, I would constantly be like, look man, but this thing, you're not manning up, you're not standing up to yourself, standing up for yourself. But I'm standing up to myself because I'm ignoring them, so ignoring them is actually not letting them get to you. So ignoring them, they're trying to get to you and they're trying to get you to bite, that's what they put that wee fishing rod out, with a wee fish, yeah. that's them trying to, that's try, them trying to reel you in, that's them trying to go, yes he's biting, look, shh, reel him in. But when I ignore them, it's like they're not getting to me, so like, like, good, brilliant, they're not winning, I'm winning, so that's good. So what about like, thoughts of Dan coming old then? Thoughts of Dan, Dan coming old, I will be coming back on the show, um, once I can, uh, once I get my, once I get my kind of life back into a kind of perspective way, us losing this kind of member of staff and work and um, once my shifts start to settle back down once I start to kind of get myself free time again What about Tom? What's happening with Tom? 
Tom will kick into production. I've got still got time to take off for work. I've still got annual leave to use up before April, so I can use time after and I can go right, man. Um, I can back up. You did a good episode, as it not uh, one called. Uh, you did it at the transport museum. Mhm. And do you know what you can technically do? You can technically add like. Me meeting your papa in Glasgow, you can add that. It's kind of like a cumbernaut because I'm meeting somebody free cumbernaut. Yeah. You can technically go, what oh, Tom's but met. When are you going back to cumbernaut? That's what everybody wants to know. When are you moving back? Well, I spoke to Lizanna, she says I'm going to try and get up like soon. I said to like my big birthday's coming up, my big 30th next month, which is going to be big and explosive. So, um, you know, that'll be good. Um, Obviously, That'll be super. Um, obviously, ask. Obviously, we still to sort, but uh, well, we I've sorted it because I got I gave you money for that for your Christmas present. Because technically, that was what you were going to buy. And you says just don't bother about the yeah. Don't bo- bother about the kind of cut Russell the new yeah. Just. Buy me that. I'm gonna see what I made for you for your. Family. And then you've got me my present still yeah. kitting about somewhere, so I was like, right, cool. So then I was like, I just really need to get you a birthday present, which I told you I'm still going to get you that skate from New York, which I will, I will buy it because it's still there, still there in the store. So I'm like, you see what I've made for you for your birthday, by the way. And I know you, you're kind of made ya. You've got a, you did in there. Anyway, guys, thanks anyway, very much for watching this interview. Thanks a lot, guys. Take till next time. Till next time. Take care. Take care. Bye bye.